Sit the fuck down! This is my shop. <laughs> Sorry? Well, speak up, I can't hear you going down. This is my shop and I'd like you to leave. I've had enough for you, Grandad. Fuck. Never leave yourself open, son. I'll give you $5 every week up until Christmas, but I do hope you will not spend it on whiskey, but for nourishing food. Keep your goddamn $5. Give me back my arm. Now, son, talk like a sane man. Take these two $5 bills. I see. Keep your goddamn bills. Give me back my arm. Well, how am I going to do that? You figure it out. Well, how am I going to figure that out? That's your problem. Uh, tell your damn machinery to figure it out. He took it and chewed it up. Well, is that my fault? I have niggers working here, can't even read or write. None of them lost so much as a hair in their head. Please call me Alexander. OK. Alexander, what happens now? We wait. Can you navigate by yourself? Sure. I can get out and push. <laughs> <laughs> that is a long way to push. Yeah, no, it's, it is impossible to navigate down by yourself. Relay a message to anyone in particular. Over. We are painfully aware of the time issue on this, and and and, and Graham has assured me that that, that um, we would. No, no, no. I I, I do understand that. It's it's really Thank it's really just a question of logistics. Done. It's getting our our people. And sorry, could you just hold the line for, for one second? Thank you. Fuck off. Alex. Fuck off. Hello. Hello. Yes, I absolutely promise that we would we will definitely meet that deadline. I was just coming over because uh, I. She stands I, uh, in front of you. Weapons I'm drawn, lips thing. full, hair sheened, tits pushed to high heavens, and you know, fall. And I'll be Trish. You're no match for her, for her advances. She bleeds you of your life, drains you of your extremities. You're pissed. You're bigger and spoils and rot all for the sake of this catastrophic. And I wanted to invite you. Love to. Great. I'll email you directions. 